This is Mike Luchane from NFLRoughDraft.com, and I'm joined by top defensive end slash tight end slash outside linebacker slash H-back prospect, Connor Barwin from Cincinnati. And, Connor, how's it going? It's going very good, Mike. How are you? It's going well. Everything's going well. So, recording 11 sacks in the season is impressive for anyone. It was only your first year playing defensive end. At what point did you start to feel completely comfortable at the position? Um, honestly, I felt, you know, from the beginning of the season, I felt, I felt pretty comfortable. Um, but, you know, with every couple of weeks, I would feel even more comfortable. Uh, you know, I would learn the little nuances of, you know, playing defensive end, kind of some, like, secrets that you learn over time. But uh, I think every couple of weeks, I would notice a gradual improvement. So by the end of the season, I was definitely playing my best and feeling the most comfortable. What do you think you could have done with a full season – you know, at where you are right now? Uh, it's kind of crazy to think about. I think if I had another year uh, in college and was going to play defensive end again or play outside linebacker, um, it would be very exciting uh, to play again uh, for another year. So, you know, I think I've learned a lot. I went back and self-scouted myself. Uh, and just from what I learned later on the season to early on, I mean, I thought I could have easily had, you know, three or four more sacks just, just from the, couple of things that I learned by the end of the season so uh, I think if I had another year on my belt it would have been pretty exciting okay well I've read that you're willing to play wherever your future team wants you to but if you had yep. your choice would you rather play defensive end in a 4-3 or outside linebacker in a 3-4 uh, you know it, I, the outside linebacker thing does kind of intrigue me I got to be honest because I think I was good at playing tight end uh, because I could play in space, um, you know, and those type of things. Uh, and, I, you know, I was obviously productive at DN because I could rush the passer. So, you know, I think maybe outside linebacker uh, could maybe be the best fit because I could kind of use both of those skill sets uh, and put it all together. So um, I think playing outside linebacker kind of intrigues me. But, you know, I'll be happy as long as, I, as, long as I'm rushing the passer. I mean, that's really the passion that I, I found this year and had a lot of fun doing it. Okay. So if you are drafted into a 3-4 and you are going to play linebacker, what do you think the most difficult part of the transition is going to be? Um, it'll probably just be learning learning the system, learning everything, uh, which I think I'll pick up on. But that'll probably be the hardest because, you know, when I it was my first year playing defense and really all the, all the, all the coaches asked me was to learn my job, my role. Uh, and that, that that was a part of the reason I was successful because I didn't have a lot on my plate. And I think, generally speaking, as a defense, I think the D-line has less to know than the linebackers, and I think the linebackers have less to know than the secondary. So this will be a, you know, moving from D-line to linebacker, it'll be a little bit more I have to learn. Uh, so I think that'll be the biggest adjustment. Okay. Well, you're obviously a great pass rusher, but your combine numbers would have actually put you near the top of the list at tight end, too. So I know you want to rush the passer, but how would you feel if, about a team drafting you and playing you at tight end at the next level? You know, I, I'm fine with that. I think, you know, I found, a, I found a really maybe a passion or, you know, like I said before, I had a lot of fun rushing the passer. I really enjoyed the idea of creating your own, being able to uh, win your own matchup and then having a chance to make a play. Um, so I really had a lot of fun playing defense this year, but – I think I'm a pretty good tight end. I think I would have had a, you know, a pretty good season if I would have played tight end this this last year. So I'd be excited to go back and play tight end to show, uh, you know, people what I can do at that position. Well, playing playing defensive defensive end this year, who is the who's the best offensive lineman you had to go up against? Uh, you know, you're asking me the same questions all the NFL person all are asking me, but you know, <laughs> I, I always say. Um, I always I gotta give I gotta say it's Phil Lodeholt, uh from Oklahoma, their left tackle. He was definitely the hardest uh tackle I went against, but I put two asterisks next to it and say he was the best, but you know, I think a lot of it had to do with it was only my second game playing D end. Um and really more important than that was they completely caught us off guard with their tempo. So our whole defense, uh, you know, with it was only their second game, they hadn't showed that tempo that everybody came to know the rest of the season so we weren't prepared for that defensively and we, we were kind of caught off guard and we only had a couple calls and we ended up running um so you know they really made it hard on us uh with how fast their tempo was that game well 
Well, you mentioned your defense. There's there's a lot of talent on that Cincinnati defense. Mike Mickens, Brandon Underwood. I'm going to put you on the spot here. Which of those guys do you think is going to be the best pro? Uh, you know, that's another question that all the NFL personnel ask me. Um, and I'll be honest, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a defensive lineman or, you know, maybe a projected linebacker, but – I don't know who's the best. I know <laughs> whatever they – I know none of them wanted to guard me when I was playing tight end and did one-on-one drills. So, I don't know who's the best, but I think I can beat them all in one-on-one drills still. Okay. I agree with you, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> we, did a, we yeah. did a feature on the site, and I think you're the most underrated player in the draft. I think you're actually going right. to be in the mix at 11 with the Bills or 13 with the Redskins. And have you had any contact with any of those teams yet or – uh, I've been on a visit. I've already I've already been on a visit to Buffalo. Um, I haven't had much contact with Washington, but yeah, I've already been to Buffalo and had contact with all their coaching staff. Okay. How'd that go? It went good. It went good. It was my it was my first visit, so it was a little bit different, but it made the whole thing feel a little bit more real. It was nice to get you know see the facilities and uh, sit down and talk to all their coaches. I had a real good conversation I thought with their defensive coordinator so I thought it was a good trip and it went well good stuff um do you have any other uh scheduled visits coming up in the near future or yeah I go I have four scheduled in the next couple of weeks I go to Kansas City then to Tennessee then to Jacksonville and then to uh St. Louis so those are the other places I'm going right now okay um just finally, I, I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but the 2008 NFL leader in rookie sacks, you know he was a converted tight end? I didn't know that, but that's awesome. I'm going to start telling people that. Yeah, Trevor Scott from the Raiders. Led all rookies Trevor Scott sacks last year. He led rookies, Trevor Scott led rookies in sacks like year, and he was a former tight end? Yeah, he was a tight end at Buffalo, converted to defensive end, led all rookies in sacks last year. So, Do you know how many he got his rookie year? Yeah, he got he got five sacks. All right. So you know that's a good number. That's a respectable number. Yeah, it is in the but, NFL. Your rookie year, it's pretty good. Again, I really want to thank you for taking a couple minutes to talk to us, and best of luck to you in the NFL, Connor. Thank you. It was good talking to you, Mike.